I am starting to prepare a very easy dinner that is a perfect food for a fall time because it's full of vitamin D. Mushroom is the only food that contains vitamin D. So I'm just going to slice them up and I used a little bit of a ghee and I'm just cooking the onion until it looks glassy. And then I'm going to add some spices, mainly lots of lots of paprika and a little bit of a pepper, salt. And then I'm going to add the mushroom and I'm going to cook it for for about at least for an hour and then I'm just going to stir it once in a while. You can serve it with some rice but tonight I'm going to just cook some potatoes. I would say that is probably our favorite but you can just get creative. You can eat it with quinoa or many other things that you can think of. <laughs> For next, I'm going to prepare some Hungarian cucumber salad and this is one of our favorite and with each meal we like to eat some kind of pickled thing. So this is something that to go with a bigger meal and first I'm going to shred them into thin slices and I'm going to add a bunch of salt to it. Don't worry, it will come off because I'm going to let it sit for a while and then when all the juice comes out, I'm going to just squeeze it even further so I can get out of the juice that actually that can cause problems with the digestion so if you have some problem to digesting and just not feeling well after eating a bigger amount of cucumber well this is what I'm getting out this part of it this juice so what you can see there so that will have the digestion and also I'm going to get the texture that I want to and I don't measure it out I just added some water and a lots of vinegar and I'm constantly tasting it when it feels good and and right so I did some maple syrup some garlic powder and then some chives olive oil and I mix it together so it has to have some kind of a taste so uh, if you don't feel a strong taste to it then add more vinegar and maple syrup and then I'm going to add finally the sliced cucumbers wrapping up the project in the living room so finally all the tools are out from there and the dust we still have some things to finish like we would like to add some mantle um, it's kind of like a floating shaft to it and just um, finishing the edges so there's still a lot more to do but at least I can clean up now and I can start to um, make it more warm this area and I can decorate a little here So this is the next morning and I'm just putting away some dishes that I cleaned the previous night and <laughs> I have something that I've been procrastinating and that is to cleaning out this 
top drawer where we have the utensils i don't know what happened there i think somebody just dropped a whole entire loaf of bread in there because it's just crumbs everywhere and by the way that chopstick that you see i just got rid of the other half about two weeks ago because i couldn't locate this one that i find now <laughs> so i'm again with one chopstick so i'm cleaning out this drawer and i'm just really trying to be just um doing lighter stuff because i have an ear infection and it's been going on for weeks now but now i'm kind of like i'm having days when i'm feeling better and i have days when i'm not and this is the day when i don't feel good so <laughs> i still wanted to be up so sometimes i do get some rest and of course obviously i take care of myself but also i do realize that i function and feel better if i can be up and doing little things so it doesn't have to be a huge thing just even that to clean out the drawer that makes me feel good and i can be up and moving a little so i'm washing out these organizers this is from ikea i love that it's matching the size and i prefer to wash them and just scrub them under the water because it gets out all kinds of grimes and the crumbs are easier to wash out than just chasing them with a rag so after i wash them i make sure i dry them very well and also that you have seen this liner that i have i love this so much because it stops the things from moving as i open the drawer but also it keeps it nice and new uh, when we moved out our, from our previous home I had liners and it kept it very nice and brand new and I just had to remove them and I didn't have to do a hardcore cleaning there so I really like those liners but be careful what you choose because if you choose the ones that kind of have a sticky back bugs loves those so much so if you have moth and other bug issues they like the sticky mat so i'm trying to opt with the one that doesn't have any glue on it so meaning of that when you peel off the paper and then stick it to the bottom of the drawer those are the ones that kind of attracting the bugs some items that I can get rid of because I'm not going to use it so that's going into the donation bag struck by luck I found you sitting all alone looking down your phone like a restless soul the wind that stroked your hair let your set in the air and the sun was so most acting as a spotlight just for you making flowers bloom Days are made for you You make me weak in the knees. I have some dishes in the sink So I'm going to pop them into the dishwasher And I'm going to scrub the sink very well now <laughs> Usually I like to use baking soda Mixed with some essential oils And sometimes if I'm too lazy I just use the dish soap Today I am going to use the citric acid. What I find with citric acid, it actually helps even more and further with the hard water built up. So it's gonna be nice on the grid. And also I can just use this brush that I've been using for years. And I have two of them. So one for dishes and one for scrubbing. And some of you have mentioned that sometimes when you order this brush, it can lose some fur and it happened to me too so out of five brushes i think i had two of them but it didn't lose as much i couldn't use so it was yeah it's a little bit annoying when it loses the here and there but it's still something i love so much to clean with because it's very soft so i can get into all sorts of corners and edges so I'm still ordering those and I'm still using that. This one actually I bought more than a year ago, almost two years ago. So if you shake out the water very well, 
and just put it upside down or you can just hang it but make sure you air dry them it lasts longer but obviously it's an all natural product so it won't be like the plastic one so you have to take care of them and make sure you dry them so the citric acid actually does a very nice job to dissolve all those both up so i scrubbed with that the sink and around that where it always gets some water and i use my charcoal infused bamboo rag and that's very absorbing and that's why it's easier to wipe off all those bubbly water you make me I decided to make some tea because it just always helps just to make me feel better and just elevate the mood and then the spices that I'm showing now these are all that I dried recently so I have some tomatoes peppers and parsley and mushrooms and I just love this method so throughout the winter whatever I can get my hands on I will dry it and next year I'm super excited for my garden when I can dry some chamomile tea and a bunch of other things that I couldn't get around this year The next area that I'm going to tackle is this little shelf where I keep all my essential oils and I'm just going to wipe it off with a rag that I have some previously I just sprayed some all-purpose cleaner which I have the recipe down below in the description box so a lot of times I'm getting comments and questions what I use what are the recipes I'm trying to gather everything in the description box and you can just click on that little arrow and you can find it that way so for next I am going to clean my plants as you can tell <laughs> I haven't cleaned them for a while because they are pretty dusty but it seemed like a good day to take care of them because that's not something that involves lots of scrubbing and bending over which makes my ears and hurt more so that was something that was easy to do I'm hoping that you stick I'm moving around a few things that we have so this was previous in another room this little rug and I just brought it over to this place and this was in the closet at the entryway but we didn't use it we don't really walk out on that door that much so we have the shoes on the uh, at the other door so I thought I'm just going to use it as a little side table so Jolette can put his drink there while he sits on the couch and also I got this beautiful lights from a dear friend and I'm just going to use it to decorate this little I don't know organizer structure I don't know how to call it <laughs> but this is something where we can hang things as we enter or friends coming over and I just really love this little light I am back! <laughs> 
So after the tea, I went for a walk and uh, I took a bunch of vitamin C. I think it was 1000 milligram or something like that. And I don't know which one did it, but actually I felt so much better and I started to gather myself. I rested a little bit and by the night I felt like I had energy. So I was on my feet again. Kids were having some program. Jot was fixing the fireplace. He was working on the edges and I just started to do some light cleaning again. It was a huge help. We had some leftover from the previous day and all I did was just vacuuming the floors and that's, that's very easy with this vacuum cleaner so I don't even have to bend over and plug it in so <laughs> it was very easy to do. quick reset for the kitchen I'm just going to wipe off all the countertops I'm going to empty the dishwasher The other thing that I like to take care of at night is to clean very well the cooktop so as we warmed up some food, some leftovers, it still get dirty and as I was making the breakfast but in the morning I don't want to start my morning with cleaning the cooktop <laughs> before I even start to make the breakfast so I'm taking care of that one and just wiping off all the countertops and then I'm just going to rest for the rest of the night and stay tuned because now I'm going to have some bloopers and thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!